Yo, dog. I heard you like games and hacking. So I made you a game that teaches you how to make games. So you can hack the Gibson's entire stack. And uh, so you can make games that will teach us to hack the planet. See, uh, we've been in the news lately for this thing called Code Hero. And it is a game that teaches you how to make games so you can hack the Gibson stack and hack the planet. What do we mean by the stack? Well, not just surface, like, oh, you're going to teach kitty programming? No, this is not logo. This is the whole stack. And secondly, uh, what do you mean by planet hacking? Well, we don't mean just raising your fist in the air. We mean hacking the planet all the way from the bottom to the top, the way civilization works. We have to start with rabbit holes. We've got to suck the normals in. Step one, the video game. They think, oh, video games. These are safe to give to my children. The first code hack they learn is they're learning to code. They enter Cambridge University, and they're given a door by Ada Lovelace, who says, I'm the enchantress of numbers, and the languages of the land you can learn are Unity script for games and JavaScript for web apps. So they start with games because they want to blow stuff up. Hello World is not that exciting. And they get into transform position hacking level, and they see, OK, this is x, y, z. And the way I used to teach this, I would say, OK, here's your x, here's your y, here's your z. And then we do backwards yoga, negative y, negative z, et cetera. But it's just not a scalable teaching method. So instead, in the level, they get a code gun, and they aim at the target. And the code they have is y minus equals 4. And when they shoot, it hits the object, and Y is the reference to the object that they hit, and bam, it evals JavaScript in real time in the game engine. Bam, the object moves down, they get the gold star. That's how Code Hero works. This is your code gun. There are fizz bosses at every challenge that you learn that teach you that, that you have to master the concept. Fizz bosses, the numbers 1 to 100, turn into 100 evil robots you got to beat. And the challenge is a briefing you get. And what you are told is your mission may seem impossible, but impossible is what coders do. And that's what you're learning how to do. You go through the door. You fight the robots. You get victory. You earn entry to the Hall of Heroes. You're there as a peer, not as a fanboy. And ultimately, your real test is to ship something. And the final boss is ship boss, because real artists ship. And you actually, there's a real pirate ship in the game where you have to ship your game. And you're taught how to do that. And the whole point is that this is the reverse rabbit hole. First, they brought them into the world of code. So we could bring them out of the world of code so they become a maker and actually feel they've made something. That's planet hack number one. Make everybody a maker with Unity so they can create their own games. And we're creating a platform called Primer where those games that people make will be able to teach all the things that need teaching. And that's what I'm asking you people in the audience with all of your skills and brilliance to do afterwards. So to do this, we then go to another rabbit hole. We say, well, you know, that's all well and good, but what about the web? So first, then we teach them web hacking. So they learn to make these web apps, and there's in-game web browsers. It's not a browser game. It has a browser in it. But that's not enough, because there's something behind the browser. Where does the code run? Uh, Alec, could you just stop real one quick second? Your sound's kind of clipping out. Uh, can you just step back, just yeah. do a quick sound check? So where does the code run? Well, it runs on servers. And then they find out the rabbit hole is revealed. All that code is running on virtual machines, which we use VNC and SSH sessions to pipe the player into. So when they play this game, they break into backtrack and a virtual topology of networks that they're learning to hack the whole Linux all the way down. And their first mission is you know, break into a login system, go through a door. You guys have all seen Armitage. I don't need to show you this video for most of you, but if you want to watch it, it's basically Mudge said, hey, kids, you like hacking? You want to fight China? Here, play this video game. Uh, and it's basically like hacking the Gibson in the movies, but it's a real Metasploit visual front end that does uh, red team collaborative hacking. So we give them tools like this to give them an intro into the world of code and how it actually works. So the point of Gamebridge is if you look up in the sky, there's all the stars. They're actually the cities of the Earth. And we're telling them, don't just play the game. Go to hacker spaces. So planet hack number two, meet at University, which is our word for the universal college that is every hacker space. We invite them to come to the space, and this is what the classes look like, and teach each other. And what they do is we get these like six and seven-year-old girls with their cute little skull mittens learning video game programming and teaching adults, because they've been learning it. And they go back to regular school, and they look sad. And they say, teacher, why can't this be a hacker space? So suddenly, we're going to hack into their entire school system by One hacking minute, the future. One minute, extend time. So we create. <laughs> We create makerhoods. We have a makerhood that's not just hacker spaces. It's hacker quarters where you live and hackademies where your kids and you go to school. The hacker space becomes a place to live, a place to go to school. Hack the Future is an example of the school. We have Al Alcorn who invented video games teaching next to a 12-year-old who made 40 video games already. And this is growing. Our power level is reaching over 9,000, actually about 900. Uh, but we are being excellent to each other. And our goals are simple. 
teach each other to hack the Gibson by learning game code, learning web code, learning Linux, so that we can hack the planet, ship something, meet up at university, and make an entire makerhood. We have billboards all over the cities where these are being told to people, hack yourself, hack the planet, hack the future. And what we're leading towards is a world where Code Hero is just a gateway drug into makerhoods. So if you want to learn more about Code Hero, we have a Kickstarter we just launched, and it is primerlabs.com, makerhoods.com. Thank you very much. Hack the planet. Wow. Okay. Um, there, there will be a live demo at Berlin Sides if you want to see it again. Uh, one more round of applause for Alex. That was a really awesome demo. Okay.